We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Howdy, viewers. Brad Prider of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If you're returning, thank you. If you're new, subscribe. It's the best way to know when I post videos. If you have subscribed, thank you. Now, when I first played Red Dead Redemption 2, I was doing a lot of main story missions, but I didn't record them. In this case, I probably was a little remiss, but then again, everyone has to do main story missions. I was doing side missions and some other things, but I kind of in my second playthrough have decided to add into it some more story missions, main story missions. And this is a Rage Unleashed. And you can kind of see Dutch has finally lost it. And, well, yeah. The gang is in bad straits. And Dutch is going further and further off a cliff. But let's get on with the story. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch, this is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. Try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No. You're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Trust me, it can't be done without killing anyone. So I'm going to fast forward to the main mission because you hear the dialogue if you follow along. And yeah you can follow along and hear the dialogue. Uh, 
There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to kill anyone. the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Let's move. Over here, come on. Almost seems like Dutch did that on purpose. I mean, yeah, he's an, just going nuts, going crazy, and I think he wants to stir up as much heat as he can, and that's not a great plan. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh... 
Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Mission complete, yeah. Again, I think Dutch has finally lost it. But I digress. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. That's why subscribing is a great thing to do, and I thank you for it. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.